Hello everyone and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. We're in the last episode. Bluebird got a promotion and we actually finished a couple of new uh, new assembly projects. We now have two people working on Spec Ops and in two days we will have two people working on assembly as well. Currently we have uh, Terminal in training and Lock Potential. We'll get an extra utility slot. That'll actually be quite awesome, I think. And we've also got the scavenger market around. Now there are a couple of things here that I am really, really tempted by. Namely, the advanced stock. However, if I were to take the advanced stock, I would not be able to upgrade this field team and I really really want to do that let's go ahead confirm that one there we are we're gonna get 15 lyrium as well when we complete this mission we have to take this one if we don't want city anarchy to start increasing because although we could go over here and uh, it wouldn't have any change then to downtown uh, the stacks would reach five and then every turn thereafter we would see city anarchy increase but by doing it this way Downtown will go up to uh, unrest level 3, but the stacks will go to 0, which is uh, all well and good. Additionally, we're going to get a free field team down here. Now, that is going to be pretty good because we'll be able to then use that to uh, probably take one of the 2s up to a 3. The free field teams are, are the way we're going to be going with those to try and uh, uh, cap out our field teams uh, to the highest level. Okay, so one free field team, two, minus 2 unrest and 15 Illyrium. And Neonate Chrysalids uh, are present on this mission. It is, unfortunately, a VIP mission. Ugh, and everyone knows how much I dislike those, but oh well. All right, let's make items available. Okay, let's have a quick look. Ooh, I guess we can have the superior laser sight. I'm sure we can have the scope as well. Do you have anything here? Um, we could give you infiltrated weave. Let's have a quick look. What kind of options do we have? Uh, well, no, there are. There, there's only one encounter, and it's going to be straight out of a vehicle, so it really doesn't matter what we put there. We'll go with Adrenal Reeve instead. There we go. The first reaction fire taken against this uh, agent each turn will miss. That seems quite nice. Uh, no reason to put a breaching charge here, really, but uh, we'll do it anyway. Uh, Trank rounds, of course, and I think then... Since we have chrysalids, we'll go with the Adhesion Grenade. Prevents movement action for all units in the affected area. Some special movement abilities can get around this effect. So I, I imagine that uh, Torque would be able to yoink someone across it, but otherwise, no. Right, what other items we got? We've got Turn Crook Grenade, Turn Crook Grenade. Good, good, good. We've got Trunk Rounds across the entire squad. We do have Blue Blood with the Flux Weave, grants immunity to disorientation and stun, which is actually quite nice. Uh, but other than that, we've got a Hall of Scanner there, but that's a, a Breach item. Uh, we've got Stone Cock Grenade, Mac Weave over here, so extra dodge. Yeah, I think this is a, a fairly solid setup here. All right. Well, let's get out there and see what we can do. Hopefully we'll have a couple of mechs that we can play around with, given that Patrick is on the squad. I'm hopeful that a future... Acquired um, friendly VIP. Hostiles incoming. Get to the evac. Right here. I'm hopeful that uh, Patrick will get uh, training or an upgrade from promotion that will uh, give her a much better chance of hacking mechs. First impression. First unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. Uh, okay. Uh, well, then I'm going to say probably Patrick. Uh, Cherub, you're going to be there. Uh, soon, well, actually, yeah, I want Cherub to be fairly high in the turn order so that they can use uh, any uh, shielding normally. In the in the breach, it doesn't really matter where Cherub would go, but I want Cherub to be fairly high up in each turn's timeline We're so I can in. deploy the shield where necessary. Wow, there was a lot of people there all of a sudden. All right. All right, we've got a Hitman who is aggressive. We've got an Andromedon over there. All right. A Neonate Chrysalid. We've got the turret that is surprised. We've got another neonate chrysalid. And we've got a chrysalid. Okay. All right. Uh, what do we want to go for? Uh, we can always use Cherub to distract the Hitman. Uh, that's not going to be a problem. I'm going to go for the Andromedon because you scare me most. There we go. Some nice solid damage there. Uh, let's go ahead and use Phalanx because it's going to give you a charge on your shield. As well as mean that I don't need to worry about the Hitman at all at this point. Right, let's have a look. Got 100% there. Got a 77 on the Neonate Chrysalid over there. I kind of want to go for you instead. Hmm. I mean, yeah, we'll go with the, the Lance Shot. Let's just try and take this Andromedon down. There we go. Very nice indeed. 
And finally, there's no one really here who, who talk can um, poison, so there's not much reason to worry about it. But we can take a shot at the Andromedon. If we hit, we're going to start this with the Andromedon's armor um, and its AI active. Okay, there we go. Lots of civilians here. A couple of them are already in our VIP area. Oh spotted. no, this is the VIP. Eyes on the okay. target. Right, where do we need to get to then? Of course, all the way over there. But anyway. Right, Patrick. Uh, we could throw the adhesion grenade. And I kind of feel that we should. Uh, and then we could get Chaining Jolt on the Andromedan. Um, I wonder if we can get Chaining Jolt and then... Oh, let's see, the thing is, is this going to stop the chrysalids from moving in just the area that I use it, or will it kind of affect the ground where I use it? Let's for science this. This chrysalid Throwing runs grenade. through it, is it going to get slowed? Is it like glue on the floor, or is it just coat the things where it explodes in some sort of glue? I don't know. But yes, use chaining dough. Uh, well, actually, it will end the turn, that one, so... Mm. Oh, that's good. Uh, we're gonna also pull talk up the queue. Yeah, let's uh, bring you all the way up, please and thanks. There we go. Well, I guess chain and jolt it's gonna be then. Uh, I don't think it's gonna hit many targets, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, no one is close enough to be realistically hurt by it. But this is a guarantee, and I'm not gonna use my bullets up on it. So. Zapping the target. There we go. Pop. down. Thank you very much. Now, at this point, we will hopefully be able to reprogram it. Uh, now then, Tinkro Grenade is probably what we want to go for first. Uh, if we can grab both of you, that would be grand. Can I get you both? Yes. Grenade out. Now, you may go for the civilian. That would suck, but no! let's do this for now. Yeah, straight for the civilian. So am I. I have to avoid that in the future. All right. Well, what can I do? I can go for the chrysalid cocoon, the Andromedan, the neonate chrysalid. I can just take it out at this point. Uh, that neonate chrysalid, the regular chrysalid, or the hitman. I wonder what would happen if we could we grab the cocoon? No, we can't. That would have been funny though. Not gonna lie. Right, let's get this hitman out of the turn order. You unfortunately come here. the cocoon is going to start spawning chrysalids in a moment. And that does suck, but what can you do? Alright, let's go ahead and bind. Don't struggle. I had hoped that given that the uh ally was so close that the chrysalid would have gone for that, but Ah, uh, well. Uh, right, it's really not safe for you to go anywhere, but I am going to creep you forward, I guess. Uh, or am I? Hmm. I worry that that would have uh, targeted there. I'm going to hunker down. Just stay where you are and try and stay safe. There we go. Now then, need a kinetic shield first and foremost. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much. want to make sure that our... Our uh, VIP is taken care of there. Now, I could go with the Andromeda, and we might just be able to pop it, honestly, with this. We've got an 84% chance. Uh, yeah, go for it. Target we down. Don't see Well movement. done. Very Turtling. well done. Right, radial overwatch is active on the turret. That's fine. Don't really intend to go up that way. Right. We need to get rid of this chrysalid cocoon, unfortunately. Quite badly. Right. Lightning hands, then. Pop. Four damage. Now, if we use Phase Lance, can we hit both of them? Yes, we can. This should get rid of the two. Now, will this save the civilian? Did you see or that? kill the civilian? I could do better. I honestly can't tell, because that looks very weird. I think that's a glitch. I think it was meant to look very different, honestly. Okay. You can walk through that area, so it isn't like glue. That's a bit of a shame, but uh, oh well. Right, now that we've got that uh, worked out, we can start making our way forward. Uh, sure. Can anyone Patrick, cover let's get me? you over here. Uh, I'm sure lots of people will be able to, yes. Right. Chaining Jolt. Wanted on the turret. Can I not get Chaining Jolt on the turret? That's unfortunate. 
Not gonna lie. Alright, well... We've got a chance there because Superior Laser Sight has got a, a decent chance of crit, but... Honestly, we could just go for the Guarantee here. And I think that's a bit better. Let's get that going. An upgrade to Chain and Jolt would be pretty nice. There we go. Uh, sustain the Bind, please. And that will be the end to this one. There we go. Very nicely done. Right, you can now afford to move forward because you are protected. In fact, I could even have you try and run all the way forward. This would take a shot, though, so uh, let's not, I guess. Just hunker down. Stay safe at all costs. Right. I want uh, this on Patrick. There you go. You asked for cover. Cherub will oblige. All right, the turncroak grenade is no longer useful for me. Because I, I really don't want to risk uh, anyone else going down. Got a 67 there and a 79 here. Well, it seems to make sense to go for the 79. There we go, four damage. Not bad at all. Locking down. All right. Blue blood, gonna need a bit of heavy work from you, mate. All right, fire weapon. 89% chance, please do. Well done. Very well done. Uh, what chance have we got there? Not a very good one. Let's let's go for the 75. We might be able to remove the chrysalids completely. Excellent Still work. Still got it. Indeed you do. Though we've got a good couple of uh, uh, unfriendlies on the map now. Thankfully, though, these are going to be susceptible to the turn. Go, companies. you're safe. Go. Right. Okay. First and foremost, then, let's see what could we hit. Got 100 percent there. Am I still can't get the the guarantee there? That's so frustrating. Uh, what's the chance? 99, and we've got a 55 percent chance of it. Right. A uh, hundred here with a fifty-seven. Okay, we're gonna go for the gun here. Armor's too thick. There we are. No, that's that's perfect. You did a good job. All right, we need to be moving forward realistically. Um, get over here. Take out another one of the troopers. Uh, you're up next, so I could just remove you completely. Uh, it would be a bit of a crunch, but sure. Let's get in there. We'll take you out. We'll subdue you. Cherub can drop a shield on Torque then. Why don't you lie down there for you a go. bit? And uh, you're relatively safe now. Uh, I still can't progress though. I do need to stay. We're, go we're going to play defensively for the time being. But here's the turn crook grenade. Now we could get you. Would the turret turn on its own? Mm. I can only assume that the turret is going to be completely, completely immune to it. Nevertheless, throwing grenade. <laughs> I want to for science it. My instinct tells me it doesn't matter. Yeah, how could a turret go for Liquidating. That was a good shot, though. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's get this on talk. Um. Now then, you've got a shot. It's not a bad shot either. Who else can you hit? That is the only person you can hit. I could go into Overwatch. But you are going to come up soon. I mean, you're going to take a shot on one of us, but... We can start working you down. There you are. Nice crit there. Reducing profile. Good work, Cherub. I'm scared about the, uh, the explosions that are going to go on around here. Now, I'm hopeful that these cars are actually... Non-explosive. I mean, they position. haven't got wheels. Like, let's just hope they haven't got any like fuel in the tank or anything like that. That would be grand, if possible. Uh, right, we do have a shot grenade, which we could get right on. Right, okay. If I'm careful and I advance, I may be able to drop this on all three of them at the same time. That would be amazing. You're safe. Get right. moving. Now let's get you out of there. Shot grenade. Can this hit all three? Oh, we can. Grenade Let's do it. Out. And pop. Two stunned. I believe the turret is now down, which is glorious if so, if true. 
Now that you're stunned, we should be able to start making some better progress forward. Yeah, let's just start making our way out. We're good for now. Okay. Alright, we've got more reinforcements on the way. But the slow and steady approach seems to be working for us. And I'm hesitant to mess with that, honestly. Uh, could I get you from there? Yes, I could. So let's do that. Uh, Target bop. is under arrest. That's fine. You're shielded, so I don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, talk could yoink someone closer, perhaps. That might be a good move, actually. Or just make a, a, a good bit of progress. I mean, the Terminal's ability to give people extra turns is so good. So incredibly good. Uh, right, we could crunch you, but it would take two turns to do it. Or I could yoink. Oh, I can't reach Sheriff. That's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to do that. Uh, all right. Well, let's get the Next VIP. Time, save yourself. A little bit closer to their evac point. It doesn't look like there's anything that can that can uh, pop out down here, but I'm still going to go for a, a location where I can get have you hunker down. There you go. Now, unfortunately, Cherub, you're quite far behind everyone else, and that does suck. Let's get you forward. Right, at this point, I want a shield on. Yeah, let's pop around, Blue Blood. Armored up. There you go, mate. Now, Blue Blood. We can move you forward. We can just straight up move you forward. And you should go into Overwatch automatically. That being said, you're in a position where you can use Lightning Hands to soften this person up straight away. Oh no! Head's not in the game. That's all right, mate. It happens. Uh, we get in there and do a little bit of damage. I'm not sure if he'll go into Overwatch from doing this, but I guess we'll for science it. That was a bad caller. Yep, you went straight into Overwatch. The Perfect. There we go. That ever vigilance Bounced ability off. is actually really powerful. Tough. It's fine. Crack it's fine, the it's shell, fine. then tear the meat. Wow, talk. That's not disturbing at all. My lord. Right, okay. Well, we could just straight up bind you. Or I could make some progress forward. Uh, really? Can I... Are you take? Are you getting a move out of turn because they've moved up to you? Putting the squeeze on. Really? Now that's an interesting... That is a very interesting one. If that is just what happened. How curious. Alright. Well... I would like to move. Patchwork to use That's it. Chaining Jolt on this trooper because it'll take them out of the game completely. Yep. Pop. Well done. At this point, I could release and then move and possibly yoink and then bind again. It's an interesting one. Who? I mean, you're fairly down. Yeah, you're quite far down. So we're going to get the VIP out, and Cherub is going to get a chance to to act first. Or at least bind. Get away from me. Can we not go for tongue? There we go. Yes, we can go for tongue pull. So would we be able to get tongue pull on you from here? Yes, we could. All right. Must be on the move. We're going to try and take a couple of you out at the same time. Let's grab the other one. Oh, can we not see the other one? Oh, that's that's a bit of a pain in the bum, actually. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, still, let's uh, grab you, then. I was hoping that I'd be able to get a sight on you so we could take you out before you could actually uh, do anything, but alas. So this seems like a fairly solid way to uh, get all of this done. Right, VIP, need you out of here. And evac, please. There we are. Now then. Who are you going for? Blue blood? Perfect. Immune to mental effects. Okay, what did you just shoot with? 
And that's the first charge that Cherub's got. Well, actually, no, it's the second charge that Cherub's got because uh, of the initial shot a while ago. Right, well, first and foremost, actually, no, because if you drop that shield, you're not going to be able to shield bash this one. Yeah, let's uh, let's go and take them out. We'll rely on Book em. Blue Blood to be able to take Batten this one down. down. There we go. Still bound. Out of ammo. Oh, well, that's a bit of annoyance. Uh, we can just reload, or I could use Phase Lance. It's a massive overkill, I guess. But mm, no, it, it will end the turn, so I may as well reload. You Good are the go. only person for whom a reload, uh, a, a mod that will make reload free is worth it, in my opinion. Okay. Got the hostile. Just because you shoot so Lucky. many times. Right. I think it's now time for us to bail. Though, I'm going to end the turn there, rather than take you through. You're up after Cherub, so Cherub's going to be able to knock you unconscious. So I'm going to release the bind here. Enough of that. Now, can I use Tongue Pull to get Blue Blood any closer? Yes, perfect. There you go. Oh, calm down, calm down, my lord. All right, let's uh, get Talk out of here and evac, please. Honestly, at this point, we've got reinforcements on the way, but I don't need you guys in here. Maybe I could have kept uh, you there just so that Blue Blood could get a shield, but... Right, I am going to drop the shield on Cherub, because Cherub is pretty much going to be here by himself. Let's take you down. Pop. I made the arrest. You did indeed. Now, what I could have done, actually, thinking about it, is I could have used Blue Blood's ability to I need a uh, angle. use Lightning Hands. Ah, well, he doesn't actually have, but he could have been able to take a shot and then retreat. I'm going to keep you here, just to uh, watch over Cherub. Also, that Overwatch is amazing. Bounce off the armor. That's fine. Can we find a weak spot? Uh, I certainly hope so. Well, we're going to have a bit of nastiness here. Right, we're not going to have you bail just yet. Uh, Cherub. Is it Cherub's turn? Or are we still... No. Can I not get you to... Hmm. There we go. That was a little bit perplexing, but sure. Right. Cherub will be able to bail. Or would be able to if I uh, not block the route, I guess. Hmm. I want to give Blue Blood a, a shield realistically before I get out, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. That's unfortunate. I should have given it to uh, Blue Blood before then. I'll try it. Okay, what kind of shots have I got? I've got 100% on the bruiser, and if I hit, I take him down, but. Um, that's bail. There you go. You're going to be here more or less as a distraction right now. Very nice. Target. Very nice indeed. Nope, you're not Buttoned leaving. Up. Moving to location. There we go. You're going to take a shot at Cherub? No, you're going for Blue Blood. Ah, damn it. Bob we almost got weaved. through. I should have left Talk there. I was just worried that we didn't have enough, uh, enough room, basically, to make that happen. That is so unfortunate. I was really not looking forward to having a... Uh, a Flawless mission, but oh well. Pomp. There you go. And with that, you can bail. Cherub can get out on the next turn. It's no issues. That's fine. But yeah, if I'd put the shield on, on Blue Blood, then we would have gotten out of here without issue. Uh, instead of putting her on Cherub. Running out of ammo. There were about Moving three out. points to where position. I could have gotten out of here with the flawless three decisions getting low on ammo but oh well what can you Found do a better position that was not what i clicked but okay shifting Seems position to be, uh, 
wiggling all over the place. It seems, seems things are just a little bit off. A few bugs in this mission, actually. It's the first time I've really seen it, but oh, we're so close, so close to flawless. Darn it! Uh, oh well. We captured nine enemies, so we're definitely getting an extra 20 intel. So not a bad, not a bad result, all things considered. Right. We've got 15 Illyrium, 20 Intel, minus 2 unrest in the stacks, and one free field team. Axiom has completed legwork, and Terminal has completed training and lock potential. From the archives, locals say the best jobs are in the stacks, and it's hard to argue. Funny thing, five years ago I kept my head down. Today I'm proud of this city. What we're making here is going to change the world once we can reliably deliver it to the world. Very well. Okay, let's have a quick look. We've got uh, Headquarters fields. asked me to witness your adoption paperwork. What? I signed. Ah, oh, cool. It's finally coming through. How did you meet your parents? They found me in the clone tube. I'm actually the reason they're together. <laughs> How what? so? They felt responsible, so they kept in touch during my processing. Tied the knot last year. I'm not surprised. You have a talent for bringing people together. Today I learned Cherub is the Naruto of this story. That was actually quite quite cute because, of course, he's a clone. So I mean, wouldn't necessarily have parents, and not not even like a clone of a person. More of a more of a, an amalgamation of DNA, really. Um, so that's actually quite an interesting little bit of backstory there because I wouldn't have thought of it otherwise. Right, agents are idle. Yes, promotion ready. Let's have a look at you then, Patrick. We have got. Baltic Arc, or Voltaic Arc rather, the Gremlin shocks enemies if they move too close to Patrick, or if Patrick moves close to them. This attack chains to the other enemies, that's actually pretty good. Or Threat Recognition, upgrades combat scanners to have a one additional use per mission, and grants plus 25 crit to all allies at the breach point. Now that is really nice. But this gives us a lot of tactical flexibility. Just moving Patrick around can do damage to people. I like that a lot. An awful lot. Well done on your promotion there, Patrick. At field team payday, we got 60 credits, 60 intel, and 50 Illyrium. Uh, the uh, unrest changed as follows. Spec Ops complete. We got 65 extra intel, thank you very much. Got three more days on the recruitment drive. Training complete. Uh, utility item slot increased by one. Let's have a look. Any other trainings? Nope. Uh, what about Axiom? Nope. How about Patchwork? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. No training to be done then. Alright, let's have a look at the city map then. How is this going to change things around? We've got Dragnet. We've got 60 Intel. 45 um, Illyrium. I uh, very much would like to take that. Unfortunately, we don't get the um, set up there. We do have free field teams now, but not quite enough to get what we wanted. But what we can do is use that to upgrade this. Oh, no, no, no. Is that free? Uh, no, I'm going to need to use the free one elsewhere. I'm glad I checked that. Um, well, I guess it does technically matter now, so we can hold on to that free one for now. Okay, going to use this one to uh, grab the 45 Illyrium. There you go. And then we're going to take the warehouse fire ourselves for some extra intel. Thank you very much indeed. A fire broke out at City Impound Facility, storing some restricted tech. If we respond immediately, we could help contain the blaze. Following HQ activities are currently unaddressed. One or more agents idle. Ooh, are you sure you want to proceed? No, 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 no. Of course. Why am I trying to move forward when we can still get someone else doing some work up here? That's a very good point. Very good point. Uh, I'm thinking... Oh, actually, Verge, do you need to be there right now? No, you do not. Let's uh, get you off there. That's fine. Uh, Mastercraft pistols. Oh, we've got a lot of things that we can we can do, actually. But one of the things I would like to do... Actually, um, someone pointed out that I haven't yet picked up Mastercraft armor. And I've got so much money. I mean, as well. Plus three HP, plus one armor, and plus one utility item slot. So, yeah, let's grab that straight away. Marvellous. Uh, anything else that we can grab? Expanded magazine, laser sight. Uh, no. Those don't really interest me just yet. I uh, may be an extra turncock grenade, though. I do find those very useful. But we'll wait and, and see on that one. Uh, but for the time being, 
Can Verge get any training? Oh, Verge can. Dodge increased by 20. In that case, please begin. Yes, please. Right, Spec Ops. Uh, Axiom. Or Terminal. Terminal or Axiom? Uh, I think Axiom. Uh, we can go for more legwork, get more intel, get more credits. That being said, though, if we bring Terminal, we've got a lot of other things we can grab. Uh, we can reduce City Anarchy by three. The next item we buy in the scavenger market is free. Humanitarian aid, reduce unrest in all districts by one. Could I have you work in this as well? No, I can't. You can only have one person. You only have one instance of that going and you can't make it any faster. But okay, that, that one might be okay. A free item is certainly nothing to sniff at. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get you working on that one for us. All right, that's all we wanted to do. So now it is time for us to advance the day. Yes, we are certain. And there we go. And rest in the fringe has risen to four. We have got improved assembly. Excellent work. Okay. Looking to sink your teeth Ooh. into something delicious. Why not give Burger Palace a try? Okay. We have everything you need to fill your belly or bellies, depending on your species. Fair Our point. mouth-watering patties are grown from a kelp-derived protein base designed to appeal to everyone. Pending approval from the Global Truth and Reconciliation Commission, you can find us in most city centers. Burger Palace. New name, new location, same great taste. Uh, what was that whole thing about the truth? Hmm, maybe you haven't entirely been truthful up to now. I am a little... Concerned. Right, assembly complete. We can get a couple of things going on in here. We've got enough to do a lot of stuff. We could go with Mastercrafted Pistols, but I'm not really sure that's necessarily going to be great. Well, actually, I, I guess the, the epic pistols that just enhance what you've already got, so it might not be a bad move. We could get improved med kits. Uh, this one seems like an interesting one. Uh, yeah, sure. We're going to grab improved med kits. There we go. And we can get two people working on this. So if Axiom gets in there, it's two days. I can only assume that if we had a spare person, we could get them working in there and that would pull it down to just one day. That is going to be pretty awesome, I must say. Pretty awesome. All right, let's have a look. Anarchy and rest and change, more or less. We have a look at the city map. What are our options? Okay, so hidden faction target five days. That is about to get ugly. We've got bomb threat over here. We've also got end of line. Now, we go for bomb threat. We're going to get $100, two, uh, minus two to the unrest there. 15 Illyrium and what? One day towards Operation Un Reveal. That's an interesting one. What about this one? We would get two days towards Operation Un uh, Reveal, minus two unrest. 15 Illyrium, 40 credits, okay. And how about end of line then? That's the least interesting of all of them. Well, actually, yeah. That's by far the least interesting. Now, the issue here is we are going to end up with quite a few plates. Like, pretty much everywhere is going to gonna get nasty here. So, uh, the best thing that I could do, I think, this is the more interesting of the missions, but it's also the one that we could we could pull down the most, because if we went there, we would pull all of that down in one go. Uh, that being said, I suppose one thing we could do is use our free field team over here. Plus five credit income, minus one district and rest for completing district situations. Sure, we're going to confirm that. One free field team fully upgraded. Then we're going to apply this and pull the fringe down completely. That was good. Now, it still means that we're going to end up with two places going into uh, unrest, but uh, it's going to take a long while before that is in a in a nasty position. We've got the Major Crimes Task Force to uh, pull uh, pull this down. Lower City Anarchy by one. Plus one if rank fee two field teams are present in every district, which is the case, or will be the case shortly. And plus two if rank three field teams are present in every district. And uh, that will also be the case fairly soon, I would say. Right, at this point, we are going to just straight up upgrade that. Yep, for 110. Womp. Now then, at this point, we have one, two, three, four, five, six places that we need to get up to t tier three. That's not bad, actually. We've got a rank three of all of the all of the types 
of districts now. I wonder if that's given us a new options over here. Let's have a look. Crisis management? No, it hasn't really given us anything new there. What about assembly projects? Improved training. With more equipment and an assistant or two, our training facilities will be able to handle concurrent programs. Build a rank three finance. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We'll hopefully be able to get there fairly soon. But that's going to be it for this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed and we'll be joining you for the next as ever. I look forward to any feedback you have down in the comments below. But until next time, do take care.